So, but then I saw her like posting, oh, I made like eight hundred dollars right here, and all of a sudden she's like, she's like next day she's all, hey, I'm at a thousand dollars in like five days or something like that, and the next day she's all, I'm at like twelve hundred dollars, and the next day she's like, I'm at fifteen hundred dollars a month. You get seventeen hundred dollars a month, and then it's like two weeks later to go by, and now she's at like four thousand dollars in residual, and it hasn't stopped. It just keeps going up. So I'm like, I've got to get this woman on a webinar. So uh, without further ado, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, take the reins and go and give it to Aaron uh, Birch. So Aaron, uh, come on out right now, and everybody welcome Aaron. Hey guys, nice to meet you all. First of all, I'm going to apologize to the people who have reached out to me. I couldn't possibly answer all the questions. <clears throat> you know, everyone's asking what I'm doing, and I just I couldn't respond to everybody. So this is great if I can tell everybody at the same time what I've been doing. So you'll be happy to know, I mean, what I've been doing is crazy, stupid, simple that Anne can do. So first of all, um, you should know I'm an at-home mom. I was a jeweler for the last 17 years. And I basically needed extra money, so I jumped into online marketing not even a year ago. It'll be a year this month. So I came in here with absolutely no experience whatsoever, no tech skills. Um, so I joined an MLM company and I failed miserably, miserably. I probably spent about six grand, you know, on trainings, having a website built. I probably made somewhere about a hundred dollars. So it, would, it wasn't working, it wasn't working. But I saw, so this is what I'm, my strategy, and this is the simple, stupid strategy that everybody can do, and Tom is right, it's in the connections. It's all in the connections. So basically what I've been doing over the past nine months are making connections and building rapport with people and planting seeds and you know now that I'm coaching people and everything I see what happens when people take on too many strategies they take on Facebook they take on Instagram they take on Twitter they take on solo ads and pay-per-click and all these things and your attention gets so fragmented you end up getting no results because you're spending 20 minutes on this and 20 minutes on that so I keep it simple I spend a lot of time on Facebook and I build connections and I nurture those relationships. You build rapport, you build up your credibility and you build up the trust. And that's what I've been doing. I've been providing valuable content so people, A, people look to me when they're looking for help in their business. I turn around and help them, give them advice, you know, point them to a training or something like that. And then when I came out, when I discovered National Wealth Center, that, that was a no-brainer, absolute no-brainer. That took me all the 10 minutes to decide to jump into here. But um, that's what happens because I've taken the time to, you know, to fill that, fill that pipe, eh, Tom? That's exactly what I have done. And it's paying off now, big time. So this is basically what I teach all my people. That time you spend on Facebook making all the connections, you know, making 10 new friends a day, chatting with 20 to 30 people a day, and they pay off big time. And another thing I wanted to say is what I notice is a lot of people don't have the patience, and when they're chatting with somebody, they go in too fast to talk about business and it turns people off. I've, I've watched some of the chats and I can see right there and kind of go, oh, that person's now been blocked because they went in too fast with the business opportunity. So you've got to learn patience, nurture these relationships, make as many friends as you can, watch if you're not making too many or of course you're going to get blocked by Facebook. Uh, what else do I do? Oh, it's all in the communication. You've got to ask a lot of questions. And, you know, one of the main things I see is people are thinking of the person, they're seeing dollar signs. You know, you make a new friend and you're thinking prospect and you're seeing money and you're seeing dollar signs on their forehead, quite frankly. 
and this is the wrong way to approach it. If you think of them as friends, you're now making a friend. Your job is to build the rapport, provide value so that they trust you and they come to you for help. And then when you discover that they're not happy in their business, in their MLM, then when the time is right, you can present your business opportunity. And that's, you know, it's, it's crazy simple what I do. And it's, it's also instinct. You have to learn to use your instinct on when to approach people about business. So that is my strength. That is what I've gone for in my marketing. 